Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more of Skoso's Adventures through Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So last time, we came into Hogmeade to check some stuff out, but we also did another additional assignment for one of our professors, uh, the Charms Professor. We learned Reparo which will allow us to repair different things just in case we need to. But now we have picked up our uh, spell crafting, or no, whatever those are, our wand. So this was tomes and scrolls. This was our wand from Ollivander. And now we need to go to J. Pippin's potions. After that, we're going to just explore a little bit. Whoa, 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 did someone just say Morgan Le Fay? Arthur. Hang on a second. Run, of course. Heard something bing over here. Alright, we're getting sidetracked. I heard a bing. Cauldron shop, uh, <clears throat> search. Heal permit scarf. Revelio. Get a little sun. There's a note back there. Flying around. Alright, that's locked. Hang on. There we go. Uh, you! Accio Hugh, right back in. Spin it! Grab it! That was some... something. I don't know what that was. Something, though. Is that, oh, that was money. I, I just took two coins. Out of the way, lady with cabbage! I miss you. Rebellion! There's something else over here. She was just uh, mentioning the prisoner of Azkaban. Could it be upstairs of that place? Oh no, there's a note right here. Uh, reveal yourself to me. Siridwin's Precarious Cauldrons. <clears throat> the precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside of Siridwin's uh, advertises the shop's wear. It should be noted that the stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while immediately eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion or of any intended effect. So it looks cool. Don't do it. It does look cool. Rebellion. Or that's down here further. I heard the bing. Get! We're going to say hello to every little kitty we can. And the dogs, too. I just don't see any dogs. Oh. Meow. I wonder if they allow dogs at Hogwarts because of all the cats. Uh, uh, speaking of, hello, cat. We're going to call you Two-Face. We're going to... We can call... Uh. Tommy. Rebellion. Right here. Nice. <clears throat> Ollivander's Wand Shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander. In the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. World. Revelio. Hear a bing. It was from up here somewhere. Is that from the gift shop? There it is. Zonko's Joke Shop. 
frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zonko's is a place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hang on a second. Thought I saw something. Where you at? There you are. Heck you. Revelio. There's something else in there. All right, we'll go back up. A whole bunch of stuff in those. That looks like someone's house. There we go. It, it's a it's a sign person. I was assuming there would be a note here. Ooh, that had a lot of gold in it. All right, in we go. Welcome to it's a sign twirler. Hello, I'm just going to look inside this crate of yours. Gold rim circular spectacles. All the potions being brewed. Oh, so cool. Uh, what's up? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, Isn't actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? There you go. Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. Yes. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can what are we I do gonna for learn you today? All right, so we have what is this? Iteris potion, recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm. Okay, so it's oh, a defensive spell. Decision. Thank you. In Wiganweld, it is a potion for healing. Nice. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. So we have 15 coinage right now. This is Focus Potion. Reduces spell cooldowns, okay. Damage. I wonder if that's a damage boost or like, am I just throwing a Molotov cocktail at somebody? You know, to be honest. Visibility Potion for people that don't have cloaks. And Recipe for a Potion that increases the drinker's spell damage. So this one boosts. That one's an extra one. Stench of the dead. Okay. Thank you, sir. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I'm going to scan your store and take things, if you don't mind. Rebellion. There's another note outside. There's something right here. There it is. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions, established 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. We hit level six. Revelio. 
something further away now. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's go get that flying page out here. West Hogsmeade. Oh, is that a mimic? Can I fight the mimic? Shoot the mimic. He doesn't care. Rebellion. Search chest. Search chest. Humetric house cloak. Right? And money. Oh, there's something right here. Uh, Hogshead docks. These docks outside of Hogshead Inn offer a pleasant place to sit and relax. If one can do so whilst only a stone's throw away from whatever nefarious goings on might be occurring in the notoriously shady inn. Revelio. Bet you this is just signage for the door, maybe? Nope, it's definitely over here. Sorry! He's ripping their place apart. Is it inside? Oh, I can go in. Oh, it is a wee bit sinister, isn't it? Let's eat some of the peanuts. Mounted Hogshead. The Mounted Hogshead rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the Hogshead. Revelio. Taking your stuff, by the way. Dark Arts Dueling Gloves. Taking some more peanuts. I didn't want. I didn't want the beer. I wanted the peanuts. All right, we're drinking adult beverages here. All right, out we go. Oh, the sun's so bright. Sorry. I'm all excited. I'm just drinking stuff and eating stuff. Put it on my. Put it on my tab. That's what I'm talking about. You did not act. Rebellion. It's definitely over here. You don't ever want to Hogsmeade Community Garden. The small community garden in the heart of the village is a perfect spot for growing various herbs and peaceful magical plants. Only the peaceful ones. Other ones are mean. They should be avoided at all costs. Rebellion. Something over here ringing the bell. Butter beer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink, butter beer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic contact that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. That you can drink when you're like a kid. Revelio.
What's this? Awesome, I like it. Don't push, push it. <laughs> Excellent. Rebellion. Exactly what I want. Oh. Exactly what I wanted. Dung bomb. A favorite among pranksters, the dung bomb is a foul odor causing anyone in the vicinity to evest evacuate post haste. What are we looking at over here? Ooh, a train set. I think that was downstairs. Rebellion. I just keep hitting the button, y'all. Musical. Balloons? Was that this? It is indeed a musical balloon. That's interesting. Oh, are these the candies? Frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatch right out of the suds. That would be hilarious. I have to say, that would be great. Rebellion. Something further away. Alright, let's go. Alright, anyways, um... We actually have a quest. Which is to, uh... I don't want to, to abandon it. Hogsmeade. Visit the Magic Neep. Magic Neep is... There's a magic neep. Oh, over here. Okay. Blocked. Revelio. Oh, what? Well, hello there. Hello. Where are you? Oh, hello there. Please come in. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for. Okay. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Yes. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. It's not, not easy. All. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. <laughs> Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? All right. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Lacks the ability to grow Dittany in small plots. Plots, pots. Probably can grow them in small plots Plenty too. Of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Lux weed, not grass. Well, that's everything. Mellow sweets. Better go and find Natty. Shrivel fig. 
plus fertilizer. All right, thank you, sir. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. Got some gold. The magic neep cart. The cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the magical neep or magic neep. He enjoys being in the quote thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. But I don't hear any binging. Can I go inside his? No, it's like completely. There's literally a root coming through his window. Is there anything back here though? Rebellion. Uh, yes. Yes. Get back here. It's an owl. We've got quite a few of those little pages so far. This is the life. Answering to no one. Another bird. Rebellion. Hang on, I see something over there. Ugh. Made the jump, nice. Can I get in here? Or is that what I saw? That might have been what I saw. There is something else like right here. Rebellion. Is it inside? Maybe I can go around? I definitely can't go in. Sounds like it's inside. Rebellio. Monies. Can't wait until I can break into houses and steal everyone's stuff. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Pets said a customer lost a deerical around here. I know we're not supposed to go. Um. What's this? Ah, we're skipping magic stones. Boom. So much more to explore here. Kind of wouldn't wonder if I should do just that. Revelio. Any dudes? Honeydukes. Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets from fizzling whizbees to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling the shop's wares. Exploding candy is always best kind. Rebellion. Something over there. Ah. Sorry. Boat? Yes, you do. Fizzing Whizbees. These delicious sweets rumored to contain billywig stings are small uh, sherbet balls that when consumed will levitate one a few inches off the ground. Awesome. Rebellion. Elephant on a bike? Dude, elephant on a bicycle. I 
make I make sounds from the gadget. I remember all that stuff. Nice. Making a uh, cotton candy. Or what is this called? Doxy floss? It's a cotton candy machine. Rebellion. Looks like it's in this corner. There it is. Exploding bonbons. These trees explode when eaten. Although they are unlikely to cause serious injury, one is advised to chew carefully. Oh, 14 of 15 for hog. Are we going to explode? Please explode. Oh, no, just money. Jack that money's dude right out from under his face. Rebellion. Heard a ring out here somewhere. Excuse me, coming through. Assume it's his statue? Hengist of Woodcroft. The statue of Hufflepuff Hengist of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogmaids, uh, Hogmaid ha after having been driven from his home by Mongol persecutors. You have uncollected rewards available in the challenge menu. That's Rebellion. Looks like it's inside, but there isn't. Oh, there is an inside. It didn't look very inside. Tea shop decor. Reflected of uh, proprietor Miss Steeply's taste, the tea shop is awash in the color pink and frills. A cheery, tinkly bell chimes whenever a customer enters. Oh, wait! Well, that was a full collection. Full of money. Just don't mind me, lady. Rebellion. <sighs> I think I saw a note flying around outside, too. By the way, looking for a note. More money. Revelio. There it is. Accio. Get in the book. All right, we'll do some more exploring later. Let's go talk to our new friend. Ah, Tassi. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh, okay, big boy. Uh, giant troll tech. Yeah, you get him. Oh, did we really just do that? Oh, she did. Draw it away from the building. Away from the village. Another one. Okay then. Oh, oh, that building got hit. Uh, dodge. Oh, I did not dodge right. Oh, I still didn't dodge right. Are we 
weakening him at all. Keep at it. We have to wait for them. Oh, come on. That didn't work on him? That heal. My dodging sucks! Magic throw? What was that? Oh, that will work. I was trying to beat him in his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Expelliarmus. Right. Oh, Expelliarmus. I want to learn that one. Arrest of momentum. Arrest of momentum? Okay, so that stuns him. I'm getting this. Ow, ow, okay. Didn't quite work that time. Dude, she just took a hit. Let me I have nothing more to throw. Can we pull him somewhere that I can throw stuff at him? Oh, ow! Oh, dude, I just got tossed him. This guy wrecked. There we go, I got more ammunition over here. Ow, I thought I, I thought I had that. You know, I was doing good and then all of a sudden I wasn't. He is faltering. I'm gonna throw at this dude. I need more. I need more stuff to throw. There we go. Got him. Uh, invoke ancient magic. Hadouken! We're good. Goodness. We're a good. Second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yes. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. Keep his ass. And we're glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement nerve like that the makings of an aura if you ask me if you are unharmed perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were of course officer singer officer singer and thank you again all right everybody we have why don't you just like is that apparition whatever it is apparated out of there whatever oh, anyways no, no, no. A, a moment if you would I will see what he wants. We'll see what he wants next time. We defeat ourselves a giant troll. And in the next episode, we rebuild Hogwarts with the new Reparo spell that we learned. Coincidentally, right before this mission. See you guys later. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live.
And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.